Hello and welcome back to the final week of Theory 3. Uh, finally, I was going to say finally, but whatever. Uh, the, fi blah, 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 blah. the first opponent for the week is Tarkiolinoma, and he is from Shaggy Bevo. So let's get going. Yay. All sorts of fun shit to look at. You know, two GLs up north. Well, three technically, if you want to. Well, whatever. Two GLs down south, and then uh, a rather potent um, TM Qui Gon Jin team that I'm not going to mess with. And then all sorts of fun stuff. But we're going to start off with a. Uh, <coughs> sorry. A uh, fail against uh, Jedi Master Luke. And it's also the final week of his. Uh, stupid Datacron, so yippee. What is it? Fifth, it goes away. Whatever, basically, by the time uh, I think Conquest and LSGO starts, well, no, they'll still be around for that, so going a little bit into it, uh, they'll still be around. But, anyways, um, I was suggested by Doya to try to give double Ahsoka team a go against this stupid Ripuze because if I didn't then obviously they would just chew it up GK from the start I probably should have used JMK's second ability on like Shock or uh, Giant Master Yoda there instead of JML but oh well he only did one whole attack the entire time and didn't bother doing anything else. So uh, I'll take I'll take the rather free victory. There goes Cat. Um, we're gonna try to go for Jedi Master Yoda. There goes <laughs> regular Ahsoka. And then I'm like, oh, it's gonna be one of those Grand Arena fights, is it? Oh. Uh, uh, I'll be super thrilled whenever this Datacron is gone. Yeah, I'll have to change my um, defenses for 3v3 um, in November, but who knows what Datacrons will come in between now and then, so not that big of a deal. But yay, a loss. Isn't that just fucking stellar? <laughs> And the reason why Doi is messaging me is because I told him, well, JMK just failed. I paused the recording in between uh, that fail and messaging him. So, yeah. Also, I was doing the uh, fighting this morning instead of uh, last night. She's trying to help help me like learn the value of patience with this so I don't um, screw up as badly. I did still screw up, though, against... Uh, one of his fleets, but that's just because I full heartedly believe I could actually crush it before they started rolling. But I didn't, but we'll get to that in a little bit. For now, we're gonna slaughter this um, Ray team. Hopefully. Well, now there is no hopefully, I will crush it. The plan was originally I was gonna try to go south, but it all hinged on kind of seeing if I could have beaten the Jedi Master Luke team and then um, if I was able to beat the Jedi Master Luke team I could have gone for Lord Vader but since I failed against Jedi Master uh, Luke we're going to go northward and contend with stuff up here and drop in the ultimate there goes her first ult there goes her stupid supports. And my computer is lagging a little bit. I hope that that doesn't mess with the recording. Actually, I do want to make sure that's whenever the stupid Jedi Master Luke Datacron goes away. I think it's the 5th of October. So that would be... When would that be... Oh, Wednesday. Okay. Uh, 
Well, this coming Wednesday. Oh, that's annoying. So, still a bit of a ways to go, I believe. I also need to get my free energy real quick. Whoopsie daisy. Datacrons. Yep, ends on the 5th. Or I may have seen something about them pushing it back to the 7th or something. I don't fucking know. I don't keep track of their shenanigans. And there's a win. Yippee. Now, what are we going? I think I went for either... No, we're going to go for the Bayum team. Or are we going for Starkiller? One of the two. Starkiller it is. I probably should have like, written down with these teams. Like, what order I did them in. So that way, um... I can like look at the list and say this is what I'm attacking next instead of having to guess while watching the footage. But anyways, we're gonna slaughter the Star Killer team. I didn't get to use um, Savage anywhere. I could have maybe tried it against. Um, Qui-Gon, but I really didn't want to because of that 25% turn meter datacron that they have. So I just called it good and said, um, well, no. <laughs> I'll just not use him. So, yeah. Alright. But yeah, uh, he did the one attack. He killed my Darth Malgus team last night, and that was it. Now this BAM datacron I was worried about. And a dash one a little bit as well but it wasn't a level 9 dash uh, bonus turn one so I wasn't as worried as I could have been but yeah we're going to deal with BAM first and we are going to be doing well obviously Jedi Knight Riven I think I was like sitting there racking my brain if I had any data crimes I could have used with him now the only positive with this team, with these three here, is that with Revan you can just direct focused uh, Bam to ensure he doesn't take any turns to go into his stupid stance. However, he will get a turn, but he's gonna um, heal himself right there. Yeah, there's the heal. That's fine. I don't care. We'll contend with it. Then we're gonna mark him again. There we go. He'll come out of damage immunity in a moment. Eventually, possibly. But yeah, this won't be a long uh, Grand Arena because of the fact that, uh, well, couldn't do anything on the south zone. And the game decided to freeze on me on one of the fights. So yay. Thanks, CG, for still not fixing it, even though it has been bugged since the title update that Java went live on. But you immediately fixed the no tickets from the battles issue. Really cool. Really, really fucking cool. I understand it's not an easy fix. It's, like, it's not as easy a fix as like fixing the ticket issue, but I think people get the gist of what I mean here. Okay, BAM's down. Now we're going to... Are we going for Dash or are we going for Malgus? Oh, 9% dodge on that Datacron. So speaking of Malgus, I'm going to fail. One, because I didn't have... Didn't have a 25% turn meter datacron. Sorry, I was like trying to think. At least I talked about with, uh, talked about this with Jam this morning. So, yeah. It's going to be a fail. It is what it is. I think I showcased the second fight I tried. I, oh no, I tried a Newt Seps as a second attempt. But luckily, since there isn't a level 9 datacron with this, I was able to kill it. With a with my Sith trio of all things, because you know you get Malgus isolated, and then I was able to just nuke him with uh, 
we'll annihilate him with Darth Nihilus, then just go to town on Revan and Basila. But that'll be like the third battle, and I'll have to pull up the uh, fleet fights because I didn't record my fight with the Sith Trio because I didn't think it would work, and I didn't really want to have to just delete the footage right afterwards. And then of course I won, and I'm like, well, fucking hell. And I recorded the fleets as a separate video because I didn't think I would get through his Malgus team after this uh, Bela once uh, Gas dies. There he goes. So, yep. Yeah. Alrighty. On to the dash team, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for dash. What did I use against dash? Um, I don't remember. Oh, no, I did Aiden against this team. Now, I know I ragged on... Someone posted, like, Arnold, like, a clip of, like, Arnold's stream from last week where he used, um, Aiden against Dash or something, and the Dash just nuked the team from the jump. And I'm like, why would people use Dash against, uh, Dash? Why would people use Aiden against Dash? Well, I don't know what, I don't really know what Datacron that person had on his Dash team, but yeah, it kind of decimated poor Arnold, and he just, like, Dash just one-shot them all. It was not a pretty sight to see. But Chewie is dead. Now we're gonna cleanse. We're gonna go for our old stupid Han. And now it's just Dash left. So you be short fight there, nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna try again against Malgus, or we're gonna go down south. Now we're gonna try Malgus here. Not Malgus. <laughs> we're gonna try. Uh... Excuse me. We're gonna try the stupid new team. I don't. I was kind of with the new team. I was hoping to maybe get, like, um, Bastel or Revan out, but it was not meant to be. So, it is what it is. It was more just me attempting to see what I could maybe use to knock it out more than me just, like, desperately trying to win. Because I had kind of resigned to the fact that I wasn't going to clear one of his zones. But I was also worried if he had seen that I hadn't, that he would attack and, you know, start blasting away at my defenses. But uh, that didn't happen either, so my worry was for not. Bastila is extremely, extremely tanky. Survive the freaking rocket from Django there. Okay. And then we can just never get moving again to... I mean, I get close to killing Bastila. But, um... No. No, no cigar. Just how it is. It's Django. Now B1 is going to get trampled all over the place. And now I decide to forfeit. I'm like, eh, there's no point. Alrighty. So I knew that wasn't going to work. Well, not new, but now that I knew... Now that I know it won't work, I'm not going to try it again in the future. Okay. Now for... I think the Tuscans are bounty hunters. I can't remember which. Oh no, we're going to have the game freeze. <laughs> oh boy. This one actually genuinely pissed me off. Because I'm going to load up my Rebels. Because I know how to contend with a stupid Omicron now. I load them up. And then it freezes. Cool. No, this is not the video lagging. This is the fucking game frozen. Because they still haven't fixed it since the title update. Yay. Absolutely great shit there CG really really appreciate it you fucking idiots uh, okay so now that we've had the game freeze on me because that's exactly what I wanted to do 
we're gonna go back in and hope that I can kill the Tuscans. Alrighty. Wasn't really happy to see I dropped the fight because I really didn't. The game just fucking froze on me. Okay, so I wasn't entirely sure what would and wouldn't work. Because with that stupid Tuscan Omicron, I don't know if it's bugged or if I'm just stupid, but you know, the stupid summoned Tuscan Raider keeps reviving the regular Tuscan Raider, so you have to kill them both at the same time from the looks of it. So I was going to give this a go with the uh, Imperial Troopers here. We get the... Out. And then... Dark Trooper kills the normal Tuscan Raider there. What was that? Three times in a row. It was beautiful to watch. Now the problem... <laughs> Sorry. I had to get a drink real quick. I was trying to get the um, AOEs lined up to kill both of these stupid fuckers at the same time. But that is going to prove to be problematic for a um, few moments here. I didn't want to AOE with um, Piet. I did with Veers, obviously. Okay, um... We're going to AoE now, basic, and then we're going to AoE with Dark Trooper and kill them both, so yippee. It should have been one battle, but no, the game had to fucking freeze, yippee. Ass wipes. Anyways. Now we are going to... Oh no, I did try Savage. Uh, I used it against this team, actually. I know Arnold made a video about what Savage can be used against. I didn't watch it because pass. Um, <laughs> I, I probably should watch it just for shits and giggles, but nah. I'd rather learn my own way. I mean, it doesn't hurt learning from other people, but with him, yeah. I don't know. He's a good dude, but it's just a showman. The uh, He's more of a showman than anything. He can be extremely beneficial and helpful at the same time, though, so it's a fine line to balance out, you know? I don't know why I keep saying you know, but um, hopefully that makes some sort of sense. Nothing against him personally. It's just, I don't know. Uh, he is not the same as he used to be back in whenever, you know, Mobile Gamer was still around and Cubs wasn't complete shit. But anyways, now we got healing immunity on Bosk. This will make this a little easier to contend with. I did get uh, Savage's circle sliced in between the rounds, so now he has a little bit more health to work with. Main focus here is I'm trying to get Bosk out of the way. There goes Bosk, and now we're going to go for Zam in a moment. After I hit Boba a couple times. There we go. Now, now I realize I need to kill Zam. That way they have less speed. I wasn't entirely sure how well this would work out if I had just taken in uh, Savage. So I brought in Dooku and Sidious and inadvertently ended up helping me out because with the healing immunity from the basic on Sidious and the stun and shock from Dooku will you know be a massive benefit there goes Zam now we only have Boba left It wasn't really nice to see Boba blap the hell out of my Savage, but that's why I really didn't want to bring in Savage by himself, so that way he wouldn't 
caused me to have to fight Boba again. And um, there we go. Not the cleanest fight, but it was a victory nonetheless. Okay. So, let me get the other, let me get the fleets pulled up real quick. Okay, so his fleets, obviously the Chimera, the Malevolence, and Radis. I could have probably done a Malevolence Mirror, but that wouldn't have left me anything viable to destroy the Chimera fleet. So we're just going to do Malevolence versus Chimera. Now, the fleet I drop will be the next fight, and it's going to be my Rebels versus the Malevolence. I know this. Oh, Rosie's sleeping and dreaming. Hold on. Rosie! Sorry about that. I don't know what she was dreaming about. But I don't want her to keep her. Uh, I don't want to have her keep barking and yipping. So I just had to make sure she was okay. You're alright, Rosie. You're okay. Didn't you think you were gonna lie? You were Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> now the uh, loved ones come here and fight. Then we're gonna fail with rebels. My hope with this fight was that I could blitz the Hyena Bomber or someone. I was more focused on killing the Hyena Bomber, but it didn't work out. And I also contemplated if I want to leave the fight in the video or not, but it's not a very long segment of this video as a whole. The video is going to only be 20 something minutes long as it is. so. I decided screw it, we'll leave it in. It'll be fun to watch and laugh at me fail. Never hurts. There goes Biggs, which was no boy new. And here comes in the spy. And I'm like, okay then. No, no, no thank you. Anyways. Now we're going to blow up his uh, resistance fleet. Not with my resistance. <laughs> no, we're going to do finalizer. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't really know what I expected with the um, fight against his malevolence. It is what it is. I actually don't know if he had kept malevolence on defense last week or not. Not that it really matters, but uh, yeah shit happens okay there goes Rose and then we're gonna slowly work our way through getting scavenger ray killed we're gonna lose the one TIE fighter that's out here whatever the fuck it's the special forces one I think not the regular, whatever, whichever one it is, we'll end up losing it. Um, there goes Ray. Now we're gonna. I'm not gonna leave it on auto. I just put it on auto for a second. There goes Poe. And then. Get a stun, luckily. And yay, they get to call in their final reinforcement. Oh, I didn't realize he had foresight. That's why I dodged it. Okay, whatever. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Yep, there goes special forces. Forces? Special forces here. No, special <laughs> forces type fighter. It's gonna call on consular. Kill resistance pilots. And now it's just Lando, and Lando's gone. 
So yeah. Wasn't the most uh, star-studded fight for Grand Arena, but I will take the win. The rather small win of um, only 743 to 60. But a win's a win, regardless. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all uh, next time in a few days. I don't know how long, but yeah, I'll catch you all next time.